Hello, my beautiful art family. Today we are doing a large three by three foot piece, but let's enjoy the intro first. Welcome back to my channel you see this we got three large pieces they are 12 by 36 pieces all of the paint and all of the paint um, brands are going to be listed in the description box below before we continue you guys do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel looking at my analytics I see that 60% of you watch my videos but do not subscribe that is crazy go ahead and do me a flavor and subscribe to my channel Anyway, this is a commissioned client piece. They wanted something very big for their walls. You guys notice that I do a whole lot of big pieces and that's because that's what people commission me for. I rarely have a lot of pieces that I do just freehand, but this is one of my client commission pieces. So I'm starting by putting my white down first and then I'm gonna go in and put my colors down. I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys watch that. So now I'm just going to go in with my colored paints. This is a custom blue I mixed using a little bit of white, turquoise blue, and sky blue from Liquitex. Now I'm going in with that light blue from Liquitex. Now for a little turquoise blue, which is also by Liquitex. Y'all see a pattern here? I think I have a thing for Liquitex. Yeah, I love their paint. Now I'm finally going in with gold and this is by Artist Loft. Yeah, I thought I bet y'all thought it was gonna be Liquitex. This one is by Artist Loft. I actually prefer their gold or Artezas because it has more shimmer to it to me. So now I'm just going in and I am with the squeezy bottle taking my black. This is by Liquitex and I am putting down my flood portion of my base first because I'm going to blow this individually into these paints to flood it but I don't want to put too much down for my flood if that makes sense. but using a straw this just helps me to make sure there's not too much paint on the canvas so instead of going in and adding too much paint or blowing it out way too much I'm just gonna go in with the straw and push the paint up to my colors and now it's time to blow them out watch the beautiness of this the beautiness oh so pretty
so because of how my table size is set up I didn't want to try to reach over so I just did my blowouts in portions so I did one half of the long three foot and then the other half of the long three foot but I did blow out all portions So now that it's dry, I'm going to go in with some painter's tape. Someone gave me a tip to use green frog tape or something. I'm going to do a search for it and find it and see about using it. But I'm going to be using this painter's tape for now. This is from the Dollar Tree. You guys see the blowouts are exactly as I left them. That is exactly why I prefer to do the reverse Dutch pour method just because I know what I'm getting when I walk away from my paint. So we're gonna put our tape down and we're putting it down extremely careful because we want straight lines for this particular part. And then I'm gonna be taking a luster or a lustry. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's not exactly a paint. It's like a pigment or type of paint. I'll put it in the description box below. So I'm using a palette knife to put a portion of the paint or luster down and then I'm going to spread that like I'm spreading jelly on bread and that's going to give me a nice even coat. I used to just use a regular paintbrush but then I would have to do several coats. So putting it down like so and then spreading it like I'm spreading jelly on a sandwich and this is how I get the nice thick coated line and I don't have to do several coats. It works amazing and you guys wanted to see how I got my lines on my paintings. This is how I do them. I'm just peeling off that last amount of tape and this is how it turned out I love it the client loves it she can't wait to get it as always thank you guys for joining I will see you guys next time leave me suggestions on colors and styles below